All right, once you uh, once you get to uh, registered for Onshape here, let's see here. Once you register for Onshape, you sign in, right? So you, sh you should have already set up an account. So once you sign in, you sign in and you just go find your drawings that you were going to, the sketches that you were supposed to be doing and you look at the sketches that you have already manually drawn and just follow the same procedure that you did when you drew the drawings manually with the T-squares and triangles and all that stuff. So when you first get here, you get this uh, display, a catalog of things that have been done, haven't been done. So you're going to click on this icon over here, on shape icon. No, you're gonna, I'm sorry, you're going to click on create here. OK, create. And you're going to create uh, the word document here, click on document. And you want to give it a doc, give it a name here. We we'll call it uh, title block. Be mindful that this is only a sketch. We're not going to do any extrusions or nothing on this item here. We're just going to sketch the, the, the sketch. <laughs> We're going to draw the sketch. OK, you get here. We're going to first thing you want to do is that we're going to. Uh, wait for the three planes to show up first. Computer running kind of slow. It says loading studio data. When you finish with it, you want to share it over here with me. There's a share button right there. OK, we're going to sketch. OK, we're going to click on the word sketch right here click there it says here select a sketch plane we want to draw in the front plane we'll click on the front right here you see this sketch one and we're going to click on the front cube over here and bring this plane forward to the front all right and the easiest way to draw this title block is to draw a rectangle and this is the icon for the rectangle up here in the toolbar so click on rectangle and click and drag to the right, and there's your rectangle. There. This front, uh, this front uh, plane here. You can go over here to the right, to, let's say to the left, and see front the little eyeball. You click on that, and it cuts it off. Hide it. I can't. Okay. This tells you that this is sketch one. Oh, I click on that. You can't. Uh, you can't turn it off. But it's sketch one, OK, uh, because this is sketch one. I'm not doing escape there. Your escape key is for friends here. So make a mistake, hit escape or uh, go undo right here. Undo, make a mistake. OK, I drew the rectangle. The rectangle on our drawings were 9 by 12. So I'm going to take this uh, dimension right here, click here, click the top line here, and drag straight up and change it to 12. Double click here and change that to 12. Hit enter. OK, it, it zoom in or, or roll the mouse wheel in or however you do it on your devices. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. OK, and also click on the line here and drag it to the right. And you got, and this is nine, change it, double click there, change it to nine, hit enter. So my title block now is nine by 12. OK, you drew this by pencil earlier. So all thing we do now is draw horizontal lines across the bottom down here. Uh, the line tool is right here. So I'm click on line and I'm going to draw. A line from left to right straight as I can. We see the little icon, the little thing that thought that little line, that little line in the bottom up below the blue line there. It tells you that the line is is straight. Click there. You can go straight up this line here and go back to the left. Click. Go up again, click here and go back to the right. Click there, go up again, go back to the left. Click there, I got four, see. One, two, three, four. Uh, I think it's, okay, there's your, uh, hit escape key to kill the command, or hit the enter button, kill that command. Nope, 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 I guess it's escape key. Okay, there. Wow, OK, now these are. Uh, 
gaps here, these spaces here should be 316. So I'm going to click on dimension here and then go from here to here. Uh, this dimension should be double click there, change it 3 over 16, 3 slash 1, 6, enter. OK, another, there's another way to do that using the offset command. But we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to do this one right here, there. Uh, double click, change it 3 over 16, 3 slash 1, 6, enter. I think you should be able just to click on the line also. Click there and drag it straight out. I'm gonna see if I can do that here. Nope, that's in, that's the entire that's the entire line. Okay, we want the I mean, escape here. Hit that right there. I'm gonna hit escape here. Okay, I'm gonna do do what I did earlier. I'm just gonna highlight dimension here and go from here to there and double click there and change it to three over sixteen. 3 slash 1 6. That's our spacing of the lines, OK? And all of them should be the decimal equivalent. You see, is always 0.19. I think that is, yeah. You can enlarge it if you want to. OK, but you can't. Uh, OK. And then you go from here to here. Uh, drag it out to the right there. Double click there and type in 3 slash 1 6. Enter there. Okay, there's your there's your title block there. Okay, and we need to have some vertical lines in here. This is your line tool right here. It says line. Click on the lines. See it's highlighted there, light blue. Come just draw your line from here down to here. Okay, I, I would like to just escape there and redraw a line. You may find easier ways to do this, but Everybody has their own way of doing it. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. Or you can, I think, you can repeat and draw a line. I see. I'm not going to do that. Click on line tool again. And go from here to there. And dimension the, uh, the spacing of the lines should be three inches. So go to your line tool here again. Um, I'm sorry, your dimension tool. And you're going to click from here to there. And it's 2.92, so double click there. Change that to 3. Enter. OK, same thing. It's still activated there, so click from here to here. Sometimes hard to get that and line it up there. And and du uh, double click, change it to three. Enter. And you got one more dimension here. From here to here. I'll bring it to the center. Don't put it over there. Don't put it over there. Don't put it up there. Don't put it down here. I'm just sliding the mouse to the right, to the left, up, down. We well, want to put it center and line up the arrows. Double click there and type in three. Hit enter. There's your title block. I see how you, that, that's your title block right there. Sketch one title block. OK, and then from there we don't we'll complete this when you check this here, but we're not complete yet. We're going to come in here with the text tool here. Uh, right here is a uh, here is the text tool right here. Click on that. Highlight the A. You want to write down the school name. Let's say we're going to put it right here to our rectangle box from Highlight it right here. All across to right here. Whatever the name of the school, see, and the default text goes here. We're going to type in B. Uh, let's see. Let's make up a generic name. All right. Let's say make up. Uh, uh, Southwest High. OK, so you would see how I did that. Type in the name, all capital letters, and click uh, OK. And they, I see how the name Southwest High appeared in the in the title block. So you do that for uh, all the spaces here. 
I don't have my title, but I, what, whatever goes, whatever these requirements were for any of these sections, uh, you do the same procedure. For example, uh, click back on the A2 here. If your name went uh, here, you would once again click here, drag the rectangle to the right, default uh, box of, uh, appears here. If your name was with John, see, see, J O H N, John Brown, and hit enter. I mean, yeah, and click the arrow here, and John Brown would appear inside the, the area that you drew there. Uh, the, the J, well, the J went below the line there. You can fix that. Okay. But that's how you would do the title, but whatever what goes in these sections, just put it in those sections. And then when you finish that, uh, save it, it automatically saves, then you will uh, share that with me right here. It will come directly to me with the dimensions here like this right here. And then when you decide, when you draw another drawing, you, you will come back here and draw whatever you have to draw in this area here. Okay, there you have it. Uh, so. When you finish with this, get this point here, you click on uh, share. If you have any questions, see me, email me and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.